Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be covering one of the SQL interview questions that is recently asked in a persistent system interview. Given as the rules table, we have origin, destination. We have records, Bangalore, Chennai, Chennai, Bangalore, Pune, Chennai, Delhi, Pune. From this input table, we need to get the distant combination values. So Bangalore, Chennai, Chennai, Bangalore is a kind of a duplicate. So from this combination, we need to get only one record. And other records like Pune, Chennai, Delhi, Pune, those are uh, different combinations only. So those records as it, as it is will come in the output. So let's see how we can solve this. We have our roots table available here with the origin and destination details. So we need to get only a distant combination details. So in order to solve this, I will use a least and greatest functions to get a least origin and destination first and also greatest of origin and destination details. So once we get the combination of origin and destination, so the combination looks same. So after that, I will be using a row number function to generate a row number and eliminate a, a one of the duplicate record. So let's start writing this query. So I will be using first list function. So on top of it, I will be using here list function. So we need to get a list of these two values. So if I take a origin and destination column here. So this is the origin column. And this is the destination, destination column. So from origin and destination columns, what is the least value? So that value will get in output. So if I execute this one, now see uh, from Bangalore, Chennai, the least value is Bangalore. Similarly, from Chennai, Bangalore, the least value is Bangalore. So from Pune, Chennai, the least value is Chennai. And from Delhi, Pune, the least value is Delhi. So that is the least value. So similarly, we'll also get the greatest value to form a combination. So let's also use a greatest function here. So we're using a greatest function, same columns. So we have got a list value. Similarly, we are getting a greatest value also. So if I execute this query, now see we are getting a greatest value. So these two records, it, form, it forms a combination that looks same. So this is the greatest value from Bangalore, Chennai. This is the Chennai is the greatest value. And again, from Chennai, Bangalore, Chennai is the greatest value. And from Pune, Chennai, Pune is the greatest value. And from Delhi, Pune, Pune is the greatest value. So in this way, we form a, uh, the combination of all the records. So now wherever we have a similar combination, those exactly look same now with the help of our least and greatest functions. One thing we need to understand is we should not use distinct here. So let us say you are using a distinct here. So I'm using distinct here to get only a distinct values to avoid duplicates. That is not a correct. So if I use a distinct and if I execute this, now see I am getting a unique combinations, but origin will be changed. So considering this as a origin and considering this as a destination. And if I execute this, now see it is becoming origin and destination with the unique values, but origin details is shuffled. This is not a correct. So if you look into the main table, so if we give here select star from roots. Now if I execute both the queries, now see this is the main table we are having with the four records, Bangalore, Chennai, Chennai, Bangalore. So here we are getting unique value because we are using a distinct. But if we look into the other record, Chennai Pune, it is coming as a Pune Chennai. So this value got shuffled. So origin has changed. So that is the reason we should not use a distinct. So once we find out a least and a greatest value, so we need to use a row number only. So let's undo this query. So once this is generated, uh, on top of this, we can use a row number function. So we will be partitioning based on these two new columns that we have generated. So if you generate a row number, so for these two records, we'll get row number one, two. And all the unique combinations will get a row number one, one. So, so that we can easily eliminate a one of the duplicate record. So let's use a row number function also on top of this. 
So I will be using here row number function. Okay, so I am doing a partition by based on the two new columns that we have generated. So we'll be giving here partition by so this result along with this result and then we need to give here order by as well. Order by I will give origin. Anyway, one of the record will be eliminated. So we don't need to worry about uh, the sorting. So I will be giving here order by origin here. So maybe I will give this as a R number, nothing but row number. Now if I execute this query, so row number will be generated based on the grouping of this result, this and this. Okay. So let's execute this. Now see row number is generated. I'm not taking the new columns in the select statement. So the old columns, whatever we have in the table, along with the row number I'm taking. So this particular combination, we are getting a row number one, two. The other two combinations, whatever we have a unique values, we are getting row number one, one. Now once row number is generated, it's very simple. Maybe I will take this as a CTE. So on top of this, we'll be writing a filter. So simply figure row number is equal to one, we'll get to only unique combination records. So in this way, by using a least and greatest functions, uh, we'll get the combination values that look same. And then on top of row number function, uh, we can generate a row number and we can filter out only those records, the unique combination records. So in that way, we can avoid a duplicates. So, so we can also use a, a, another approach, which also looks a similarly same. So only thing is we can write a case statement instead of a least and the greatest functions, we can also use a case statement. Maybe I will copy and paste the same thing. So only thing I will change here is instead of a list function, we will use a case statement. So let's say instead of this, I'll let here case statement. So case when, so it will be origin. origin less than destination. Then we'll consider it as a origin or else we'll consider it as a destination. So this also compare the values between origin and destination columns. So whatever is the least one, so we'll take here or else we'll take a destination. So we can also do the same thing for uh, um, the other values. So we can just do opposite thing here. So instead of our greatest here, similar query I will take. Here also I will add a case statement. It will do origin greater than destination. Here also it will be destination capital D. Okay. So then I will consider it as a Origin. Else destination. Okay. So we will end it. We also will end it. Okay. So if I run this theory, we'll get the same result. Okay. Same result we are getting. So if you want to see this result separately. So let's run this separately. Now see, it also gives us same result, same way like how we are getting for least and greatest. So in this way, by using any one of the query, we can get the result output. In case if you have any other alternate approach, please post in the comment box. That's all for this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet.